This makes me so happy. I don't know why. What is up, you guys? Welcome to another vlog. This vlog is kind of special because I am doing the first day of the challenge on the gym option, and it is leg day. What a beautiful day. I am starting off with stretching. I do um, have a lot of stretching and foam rolling throughout the challenge because I feel like that's something that a lot of people ignore and it's honestly one of the best ways to actually activate the muscle that you are working out. So I did put um, a lot of light on stretching and foam rolling during this entire challenge. Now, I'm not the best foam roller, I will tell you that, as you can see. Sometimes I kind of just have to see like what's best for me or for um, whatever I'm foam rolling for that day. But one of the main things I like to foam roll um, before leg day or glute day is my glutes. This can be pretty painful at times too, so just do your best. I've actually grown to really, really like it because I know it's going to activate my glutes and I know it's going to get me the best workout possible and you know that we all want to activate those glutes. So now I'm rolling onto um, my quads and um, I'm doing like one leg quad rollout. Normally I do double, but sometimes I will do single. Just don't roll down too far because you might roll out to your vagina muscle and we don't want to be rolling out our vagina muscle. That just sounds really weird. Okay, I'm going to stop now because it's getting sexual, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Now you normally want to hold your stretches for like 10 seconds at a time too and the foam rolling I do for about five minutes and I do the stretching for about five minutes as well so for leg day we are doing supersets I did show you guys in this workout what a superset is it's basically um, doing your two exercises back to back without stopping. Now after the superset, you can pause for about, I'd say about 60 seconds and then you start the next set. So for the first workout of the day, leg day, we are going back to the old school way. We are doing Arnold. I mean, not Arnold. <laughs> Every time I think of old school, it's Arnold. We are doing Arnold. Um, no, I am doing squats. So I'm doing your normal stance squats. You want to make sure that you are getting low enough. And we are going to superset into jump squats. Now throughout this um, eight week challenge. I am doing a lot of plyometrics in here too. It really, really burns out the muscle that you are working. So we're going heavy and then we're doing a plyo um, exercise, which is a jump squats. And get used to these during the actual challenge because you're going to be doing a lot of jump squats and you're going to be doing a lot of plyometrics. Now here's Maggie and she is doing a squat as well. Now Maggie is still pretty much on the beginner level. So I just wanted to show you guys um, how she does her sets as well because she still struggles through them and um, her form is not always the best, but it's pretty good. So if your form is not completely perfect or if you feel like you're not doing it right, you will get it as, soon, um, as long as you keep trying. So you can see her pausing because it was pretty difficult for her to finish this set, but she still pushed through no matter what. So the next superset is going to be leg extensions. Now, if you want to make leg extensions harder, you can always do drop sets. Drop sets are basically you go to a failure on a heavy, on heavy, and then you drop it down um, to lighter weight, and then you go to failure again, and then drop it down to a lighter weight. I like to do anywhere from two to three drop sets, so that really, really burns it out. So if you want to challenge yourself a little bit more, you could definitely throw in drop sets throughout the challenge as well. Now see you guys see I go directly into alternating lunge jumps. 
I'm dying right now. Um, you could tell I'm not really getting that much of height when I'm jumping, but I'm trying my best. These literally will put your legs on fire. So I wanted to show you guys, um, without cutting anything, how that superset actually looked. Because you literally, you just walk right into the next exercise and perform that exercise. Now I don't normally like this leg extension machine, I just like the one that doesn't like move back, but that one was taken at the time, so don't be afraid to try other alternatives. This is just a slight difference of your normal leg extension, but it's still a leg extension. There's going to be a lot of times where you are in the gym and there are not machines available. And sometimes you just have to um, do a different variation to make sure that you are not resting too long. Now, Maggie is doing the jump squat. I was laughing at her. We both we both talk smack to each other, so I wasn't being mean, but I was like, what are you doing? Like the flying Superman lunge? She was, it's a, it's a sumo leg press, I apologize. But normally I do the one where I'm laying down more um, because this machine doesn't really let me get the depth that I want because I'm a little bit shorter. But this was the different variation and the normal leg press was taken. So sometimes you just have to go with the flow in the gym and go with what's available, like I said before. So we are supersetting with a split Bulgarian squat. Split Bulgarians are seriously one of my favorites. I feel like it's really extremely underestimated. So make sure that you are doing your split Bulgarian squats because I'm telling you guys, this is a great booty builder now here's mag and she's doing the leg press she is taller than me so she is able to get more depth so if you're taller you could definitely use this machine but for me because i'm five one sometimes all the machines don't exactly fit how i want them to fit and for split Bulgarian squats also, you want to make sure that you're getting enough depth as well as not letting that knee go over your toe. When you're doing any type of lunges, any type of squats, any type of bending down basically, one of the key things is to not let your knee go over your toe. And now I am doing a seated calf raise. I am throwing in calf raises as well throughout the challenge. It's something that I normally do, but I don't really film too much. You just wanna make sure when you do calves that you definitely warm up, meaning you should only be doing about um, three sets of calves and don't go that hard, I'm telling you guys, because you guys will not be able to walk for the next week. You really have to break in your calves. Something about calves and abs, if you do them too hard, you literally can't sit up if you do abs too hard and you can't walk if you do calves. I don't know why, they just seem uh, to be of a more sensitive muscle, if that even makes sense. But you really have to be careful um, to not overwork them when you first start out. So just keep that in mind. And we are doing walking lunges. Get used to walking lunges in this challenge because I did put a lot of lunges. And these are the ultimate number one booty builder. Probably my most favorite workout. I hope you guys enjoyed this voiceover and I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the vlog. What's up everybody? So I wanted to uh, talk about the summer challenge that actually launched today. I'm super excited about it and I also did the leg workout which was awesome. I will be trying to do my best to do workouts and post them on here throughout the challenge. If anybody is interested in doing any future challenges, they are about every eight to 10 weeks just depending. So just keep an eye out for it. If you weren't able to get in this time, um, you can still get in for the next time, which is in fall, which is in eight weeks. I had a good amount of girls this time, so I'm just really excited to be on this journey with everybody. Um, the mental challenge, the physical challenge, it's just all really cool. And um, I've actually been sitting at my computer for the last five days, no joke. I haven't even been to the gym because I have been swamped with emails. So if you guys are emailing me, just be patient. I will get back to you as soon as I can. I'm literally in my email 24-7 right now. 
and the first few days are always hectic. If you have not received a plan, definitely email me, check your spam, check your junk mail, make sure it's not there. For any reason you didn't receive it, definitely email me so I can get that over to you. But he did not sign up for the challenge. I will have the actual summer challenge available. It will be available for $100. Um, the original price is 130 with the entry. You get to compete to actually win money and then to come fly down to California to see me. But I know a lot of people want to follow on this journey as well. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the actual challenge available um, to anybody that wants to purchase it. Now that does not come with any coaching and it does also, and it also does not come with any prize money like I said but you do get a very detailed um, eight week workout every single day is different you also get the mental challenge you also get the macro um, the macro breakdown guide um, and just the whole entire summer challenge so if anybody is interested in doing that just uh, keep an eye out for it I will be announcing it sometime this week and that will be available for purchase. Uh, so I just wanted to announce that. And I also wanted to show you guys what I'm wearing today. Because I told you guys that I would be showing you guys exactly what I'm wearing. Kind of outfit of the day. Do not mind my robe. I told you guys I've been sitting at my freaking desk all day. So these pants, I wanted to talk a little bit about them. Because I know they look really plain, but they are the Align pants, and they are literally my favorite pants. They are from Lululemon, and seriously, you guys, my favorite pants in the entire world. My top is also more of a crop top. It's not a full um, like sports ball that would come up to here. That's why I like it because it's on the bend on, so you guys can see the back. Ooh because it doesn't like show my stomach all the way. So I like the high rises and I also like the crop top because it doesn't show like everything if you don't want to show your stomach. So I had a black one on like this and a lot of you guys asked like where I got it. I got it at the Lululemon outlet, but I never did the shopping haul for you guys. So as I wear stuff, I will be showing you guys what I'm wearing because you guys know that I am designing my own apparel line. We are getting the samples back um, very soon and it will be launching in the fall. I also am currently looking for warehouse office space in LA, which I'm super excited about. And that's just another chapter of my life that we will talk about. I will just take you guys on the journey of me trying to find an office in LA. That's going to be intense because LA is so big and I don't really care to sit in traffic so I've been kind of going back and forth to location I've been trying to sum it up just with a few locations that I can go look at in different areas of LA because if you try to drive for two miles you will be in traffic for two hours but I want a, um, an office warehouse space where I could just sit and talk to you guys have a YouTube area have a shooting area for my apparel line for my fashion line for several other projects that I'm doing and then actually have an office um, and have a few employees in the office with me and it just be a really creative spot so some really cool things in the works and i just wanted to talk about that and i just wanted to tell you, like show you guys that i've been really on my diet very good and plant-based diet and you know i'm human and i wanted to show you guys what i did after leg day because it happens to the best of us so i went to circle k it was the closest to my house and i got a diet dr peppa i don't know there's something about like soda and it being like in an 89 cent cup filled with ice that is amazing i can't even i can't even tell you guys what it is but it's so good yep it's that good so when i'm having cravings i get diet dr pepper diet coke it happens I'm not perfect, but I am normal. And I'm gonna show you guys what I got. I'm gonna do a, um, I'm doing Circle K haul. Um, so I got Gatorade Fruit Punch, and I love these. And sometimes I do drink them with sugar, especially after late day. Um, I got 
two because two for three you can't pass up the deals you know can't pass up the deals and i got power eight zero because they were buy one get a second one for 25 cents genius marketing i literally almost bought the whole thing i was like in my arms like everyone was looking at me because i'm like here comes this girl like with her workout clothes and i'm buying up all of their gatorades and powerades powerade zero is bomb by the way it's zero calories so now i'm, now I'm gonna show you i'm gonna show you the real thing okay funyuns flaming hot cheetos okay i have a thing with spicy i have not got into these but my mouth is watering and these are phenomenal they're not exactly vegan i don't think or healthy friendly but you know we can sport sometimes because that's real life and i got these This makes me so happy. I don't know why. <laughs> Sorry, I'm probably on you guys. Um, and then, I, you know, I, I'm a very, I like tarty and I like sour stuff. Okay, I'm not a big chocolate person, but I do like chips. That's like my freaking weakness. And hot chips, and Starburst. I mean, the large pack, favorite reds. I mean, I had to get two. Okay. <laughs> Why is this making me so happy? Oh my gosh, I have issues. And then, if you guys have not had these, these are the bomb.com. Okay, they normally come in little pieces, but they came in strips today because that's what they have. And then, Garrett loves Mentos. Mentos, the brush maker. But you guys know what I'm gonna say about that. You gotta treat yourself sometimes, even if it's to Circle K candy and soda and Gatorade and Powerade. And I'm gonna let you guys go now because the sun's going down and I still have to work. So I hope you guys enjoyed my Circle K run and that real laugh stuff and the summer challenge update. Hope you guys enjoyed my sit down and I'll see you guys tomorrow for the next workout and the summer challenge. Kill it, go get it. We out.